there was a strange moment at that same news conference that we wanted to show you. That press conference was on the side of the old post office building, which Trump is converting to a hotel. A woman in the audience asked Trump if he'd hire veterans at that hotel. Here's how he responded. What kind of a position? Come up here. Come here. She looks so smart and good. Do you mind if I do a job interview right now? We need good people. How are you? So what's your experience in front of the world? Uh, well, I design, I do wreaths, I do uh, all types of decorations. And you like this building? Yes, Okay, <laughs> so here's what I'm going to do. There's the men. Stand right over here. Oh my God. <laughs> if we can make a good deal in the salary, she's going to probably have a job, okay? <laughs> all right, good. Have a good time. Thank you, sweetie. Thank you. Good. Thank you. So nice. Really nice. I felt good about her. I tell you what, I looked at her. I said, she, you know, I have gut instinct, okay? And we're allowed to have that. And I looked at her and she asked a question and it was a very positive question. She looks like she's got a great look and she's, look at that with the tears. How nice. She's just a good, she just seemed like a good person to me. There was a... Shalom, my people. I am Sigma Male Wolf. And this is Who's Out of Order. Now, on Who's Out of Order, what I do is I react to videos and news stories. Then I tell you who I think is out of order. Come on, man. Come on. How you going to do this black woman like that? How you going to pull her up there and offer her a job? As racist as you are. Why would you do that? Why would you, why would you uh, humiliate that black woman like that by pulling her up there and giving her a job and then have her all happy sitting in our, in the crowd, probably happy as hell. Why would you do that? That is so disrespectful. man but really though if he was as racist as people say was or, or he is there is a he would have pulled that woman up there and offered her a job and then he continued to say he basically liked her look, which she probably didn't have the 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 eye weave on or the cumbrellas. She her makeup wasn't beat on. She didn't have a hoochie outfit on, trying to get attention. She looked very nice, very feminine. She seemed like very feminine. And like I said, ladies, listen to me, listen to me. You will get far in this world if you use your femininity. You will get far in this world. There's nothing that can stop you. Men will bend over backwards to find a feminine woman. It's, 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 it's mind boggling to me that most women haven't even figured that out yet. And you got to kind of look at the generation before them, before the young girls now, because everybody want to be a boss chick, but they have no employees. But it seems to me like the generation before them failed them. They failed these young girls because these young girls should know that their femininity is powerful. Powerful. 
You want to get a, 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 a man to do anything for you? That'll break his back for you? Give him peace and femininity. And if you can stay on that track, you could probably get him to do anything. But it's good to see that, uh, you know, Trump threw somebody a bone and uh, made it look like he actually cared and that he's not really a racist. He's just trying to prove it. I, I read one comment on this video and it said, um, okay, but where is she now? Probably better off than you. You know what I think? I think that black men are waking up and realized that when Trump was in office, the economy ran a whole lot better. And they were making money. And then now all of a sudden, everything slowed down. We're not making any money. What it is, is we got to think about the economy. Because when the economy goes bad, who does it hurt the most? Who do you think it hurts the most when the economy is bad? It hurts black people. It hurts black people as a whole, but especially the black man. We've got a lot of responsibilities. We've got to take care of families. And people don't understand that. It could be rough, but you know what? It can also be better if you've worked hard, but it's hard when the economy's bad, especially if you're in a job where it affects the, the economy affects how you make money. Tell me what you think. Be one.